Okay. Most of the police in the U.S. are racist. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Okay, good. Everybody did it. Okay, cool. So here's what we're going to do. This is the game. You can move to any line you want at any time. You're free to move uh, or you're free to stay. And I'm going to explore the reasons for why you believe this and how you've come to the conclusion. Okay, so um, tell us why you stood on the disagree line. I think most is a majority, and I think that that is grossly unfair if you're, if you're using the term racist in a literal sense. If they have hatred, you know, for, for other people because of their skin color, um, I just, I, I disagree with that statement. I, it's hard to find, it's hard for me to find a category of people other than objective racist, you know, <laughs> the Klan, you know, I guess that would be a category, that where most of them are racist um, in America today. Okay, so tell us why you stood on the agree. Um, I think a lot of cops have good intentions when they join the service. Um, I'm a first responder, I'm an EMP. Oh, you are? Good, yeah. thank you for doing that. Yeah, of course. Um, I see a lot of first responders, they have good intentions, it's just that the system is broken. The system? Yeah. What do you mean by the system? Uh, just the criminal justice system in the United States in general. Um, uh, not having uh, generalized, standardized rules, laws in the United States. Okay, I'm coming back to you. Do you agree with what he said? Are you a first responder too? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I'm a zero responder. You're, I'm a zero responder too. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, so I, I like that, by the way. I'm a zero responder. I'm going to remember that. Uh, so basically, I, I chose agree because of all the videos and news I saw. I don't know a lot about this topic. Yeah. But basically, from what I saw, yeah. I should is it possible, let me think, I'm trying to think. Okay, so, so you saw a lot of videos of, of what? Police killing black people, minorities. Okay, just as a point, how many black, unarmed black men do you think were uh, killed by police in say 2020, 2019, like if you were to guess? Maybe more than five. Five? Yeah, more than five. What, like more than five being like 5,000 or 500,000 or 10? Five. Or oh, five? Yeah. So just, so if five people were killed, if five unarmed black men were killed by police, shouldn't that be a reason to, to stand on the slightly agree line? That's yeah. not very many. Maybe, yeah. But like I said, I don't know a lot about this topic. But let's say it is five. Yeah. Would that be a reason to move? Yeah. Okay. How many unarmed black men do you think were killed by police in 2020, 2019? Mm -hmm. Roughly. I mean, we're not experts. I'm not an expert. Um, I don't know. But um, I would say the, um, I would say killing is not really the problem here. I think it's okay. more um, um, okay. other, other problems. But I, I have an idea. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Let's say the number were 5,000. Okay. Would you be willing to move to the strongly agree? Maybe. If the number were five, okay, let's say the number were 10,000. Would you be willing to move to the strongly agree? Um, it depends. On, on what? how they were killed, who were killed. Unarmed black men killed by the police. If the number were 10,000, okay. If the number was five, would you move to the slightly agree? And if the number were 50,000, would you move to the strongly agree? I mean, more killed mean more racist cops. Right, so then you, rationally you should move. Yeah. So why would it not be the case that rationally you should move if you figure out the number is lower? I don't know, you're right. <laughs> what do you think? What, do, what think, are your thoughts? And I'm coming back to you next. I think it's, uh, it's numbers. So 5,000 black men were killed by police. I, I'm, not, I'm just through, yeah. I'm not saying that's true. I'm just, oh, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm also saying that if 5,000 black male men were unarmed and killed, what is the number of the unarmed white men that were killed? So you killed? have to know that, right? Yeah, I think it's, it's a statistics game. So the statistics, statistics say that uh, it's, you have an 80% chance of being killed as a black male than a white male, and that's racism. 
But if statistics say that, you know, they're close, then... You, you mean killed, you mean shot by police? Yeah, okay. that's what I mean. And also, I think uh, they should be seen from case to case uh, oh, yeah. situations okay. because uh, you can be a white, aggressive man and I can be a black, chill guy. And then also, you know, it, could, it depends on the case. But uh, I don't think that we can have this as a general statement because I don't think that does justice for anyone. So shouldn't you stand on the slightly agree then? Um, if you're talking about Portland, as in Portland cops, yeah, I think Portland cops. Are. Trey, do you want to move? Uh, no, I'm good here. Okay. So how many unarmed black men would it take for you to move to the slightly disagree or to, or is that even a bad question? Should I, should uh, I have, should I have another question? Is that a bad question? I don't think it's a terrible question. It's a hypothetical, um, which is tricky, but, but I understand. there is an actual sure. number. Sure, there is an actual number. I just want to go back one second, too, because he answered the question in terms of, like, the system, and I was thinking about racism as the individual, like, individual police officers. Um, and so that might have affected our responses a bit, too. Oh. Um, you know, it's yeah, because it's interesting. Because you did, you did, you answered it in terms of the system, right? Yeah. And you want to answer it in terms of an individual. The individual racist. police oh, okay. officer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Being a racist. Um, and so that that's like, I mean, I've known police officers. I'm sure you've known police officers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a very common job. Um, it's becoming less common here in, yes. in Portland and some other cities um, for a variety of reasons. But um, yeah. But what was the question about? Well, um, so how can we figure out if this is true? What evidence do we need to figure out if this is true? And it could be that it's not fully true, like strongly agree or strongly disagree, but it could be it's true just in terms of like sl slightly, like what would you need to move you to one line or the other? And I'm going to ask them the same thing. What piece of evidence or reason would you need to move you? Yeah, um, I would say a big discrepancy in, in unarmed uh, black people being killed by the police versus unarmed white people. Yeah, that's what he said too. That's what you said too. Okay, so what would that discrepancy look like to move you? Um, very outsized, especially we have, you also have to take into consideration the crime rates um, and where areas are being policed. Um, and so all those play a part. Yeah, I mean, it would take a lot of time to look at the data. It would take nuance for sure, not just, <laughs> you know, just going for it. And so I just want to make sure. So it's not just enough that I give you a number. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying I, I have the number. I think I have the number, but it's not, you need something, something. You would need something else. If the numbers are low, if the numbers are greatly outsized, then I think you could probably make make an assumption. Um, but if the numbers are low, you're going to need more data to to back that up. Okay. So is that fair? Is that? Yeah. I think what we need is research and research and research, and we need ratios, not just numbers. Yeah. I, that, that's yeah. okay. That, we all we're, we all agree that there's ratios, because you can't just have one number without having a control, like a base rate. Yeah, it needs to be a controlled trial. Like, Are you an engineer? I'm not, I, I wanna be a doctor, but I'm not an engineer. So that's a smart thing to say. Yeah. Okay, so what to you, okay, so my first question to you is, is that, is the metric of police shootings of unarmed black men, if we have the ratio to unarmed white men, is that sufficient to move, if, if you had that number, yeah. Would that be sufficient to move you to the slightly agree or the strongly agree? Uh, yes and no. Give me the no. Um, just that number would not be... Well, that number and the control rate, the number of unarmed whites shot by police, those two, two numbers. But at the end of the day, chances of you, you know, facing racism as a black male in the United States is way more than a white. But from the police? Yeah, probably. Okay, all right. But I want to also say oh, yeah. that um, a lot of police officers are not bad people personally. I think it's just uh, the environment is a toxic environment. Have you seen that as an EMT? Yes and no. What's the yes? Um, just small situations escalating to um, more violent ones. Because but, people are a certain color. Well, I cannot say that, but I can say that a lot of situations could have been de-escalated in other ways. For sure. Yeah, yeah think, for sure. I think that um, showing power makes people feel 
um, angered in some way. Um, Let me ask you a question. So this keeps coming up. I've been going all over the country and I've been doing this. We use different questions. We can use another question. People always say the thing that you said that I genuinely do not understand what they mean. What does someone mean when they say the system? Like, I know what you say, like, that guy over there doesn't like someone of a skin color. What do, you, what do you mean by the system? Well, I think this answer changes from one person to another person. But, um... You, you agree? Okay, I'm, com- I'm coming yeah. to you next. You agree? I think that what I define the system, you may not. What, what I might define as a system. Yeah, well, what, what do you define? Like, like, can you give an example of a law on the book that is currently discriminatory against... I don't know, people of a certain skin color. Like to me, that would be a system thing. No, but I can I can see how law, some laws can be used against some people of color. Like c- c- crack versus cocaine? Is that what, Cause that's what I, like what? Um, like the penalties for, the penalties for crack are harsher for the penalties than for coke. White people tend to do coke. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but like that specific thing. But what I mean is that um, chances of me getting a higher sentence as a black male are higher than chances of getting that. And do you know that for sure? How do you know that? Um, I don't have any evidence that supports it, but I'm sure there is evidence out there. If you were to be shown that that was not true, would you be willing to cross a line? Yes, if it's uh, reliable, credible information from a research institute. Okay, so you for you to go here, you would need two things. One, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, you'd need unarmed black men killed by police versus unarmed white men killed by police. Mm-hmm. And you would need um, the data of the sentencing data for black versus white. Yes, from credible sources. Okay, now, oh, you do, don't cheat, uh, don't cheat. I'm not cheating. Okay, now, what would you take you to move there? The same thing, but ah. it, it's, a, it's a matter of numbers. So your numbers, are they showing what, uh, what side are they supporting? So you're a data guy, you're an evidence guy. Yeah, I would say that I, I am a data guy. I do research. Okay. You said something about the system. You said yes when he nodded his head. You're cheating, by the way. Yeah, I told you a simple rule. It's uh, you know, it's more complicated than one would think. What's the question? <laughs> oh, he said the system. The definition is. So I go around and I ask people this question, and they always tell me the system. The system. I have no idea what people are talking about when they tell me the system. Like, what does that even mean? Like to me, it means a law. There's some kind of a law. And then he said, it depends with the, it's an individual thing. And he gave me his definition. What, what do you mean when you say, oh, but you didn't say the system, he did. But what, no, when you hear, like, it's the, the system is racist. Like, what does that mean? Um, I think I agree with you. It's the law. Yeah. Yeah, and neither one, you couldn't think of a single law, but you said there could be sentencing data, but you'd have to see the data. But you think the data exists, you don't know the data exists. Okay, so did I characterize your position fairly? I'm sure it exists, the data, I'm sure it's out there. I'm okay, I'm coming back to you. I, I'd li- unless that's your field, I'd like to know how you know that. Mm. Okay. okay, so for you, what would it take for you to move to the strongly disagree? Um, I guess it, it all gets back to the conversation on the individual versus the systems. Um, and people are looking, people are treating racism now more as, um, that's, this is going back to like critical theory and critical ideology. Um, outcomes, you know, outcomes versus intent and um, what exactly that, 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 how that pertains to, to racism. For me, racism is, you know, it, it really needs to be identifiable because I really think it's a huge sin that you shouldn't um, thrust onto people, a group or an individual lightly um, and so that's why I am much more hesitant to call one person let alone a group of people you know just filling an occupation racist okay. um, it would be very hard for me to move to, to to strongly disagree because although well I could probably move to strongly disagree I suppose if I if I saw maybe more evidence I haven't that's read that's what he wants that. he wants sure. evidence too so sure. here's my question to my final question how confident are you that you're on the right line? 
Um, and a scale from one to 10, with one being not confident at all, five being medium confident, seven being pretty confident, 10 being absolutely positive. Two. Really, I wasn't explaining that. And it, so you're not very confident that you're on the right line, but if you were to move to a line that you would make you feel more confident, which line would it be? Not sure. Really? So do you want to move to slightly agree? You can move. Okay. How confident are you? And I just want to give you a reminder, mm -hmm. given that you don't have the evidence. I don't, I'm not saying I have the evidence. I have no idea how many unarmed white men were killed by police. I can't give you that. I can give you the first number, but, um, but you're right. You do need both numbers and that you don't have the sentencing data. How confident are you absent the evidence that you're on the correct line? Despite not having the evidence that supports it, I would say I'm pretty confident. I would say I'm a 10 because I think, I think that chances are most likely the evidence is going to support that. But if you don't have the evidence, how could you be a 10 and not a 9? Um, is it easier to get to London by a car or by an airplane? Uh, by an airplane. I don't think you can get there from a car. Do you have evidence? Uh, yeah, I can look at a map. See, that's the same thing. I can look at the evidence. It's the same concept. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So I know how to get the evidence is to how to look at a map. Name one of the journals that you could look at to see the data. I the cannot, name of the journal. I cannot name one, but if I do some research, I can find a credible journal. Okay, so I, I, how could it be analogous if looking at a map we know that you look at a map to get the answer. And if somebody can't name the name of a journal that would have that, that means they don't even have a familiarity with the field. So I guess I'm, my, I'm curious as to why you said 10 and not nine. Like if you said nine, I would have moved on to him already. So I'm, I'm stuck at the 10. I would say it's, it's um, a lot of logic and a lot of seeing the uh, events that happened in the last two years. and. Uh, especially living in Portland. Uh, I'm not from Portland, uh, but uh, I would say that a lot of it is... Okay. Is that if I would have guessed, if I had money on it, I would say that probably evidence is going to support it. Okay. So I just want to be clear about something. I'm still kind of thinking about the 10 thing. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, I'm off the line moving you. I'm thinking only about the 10. Yeah. So if you're an evidence guy... Yeah. And you gave me a really good example of the kind of evidence you need, but yet you don't have that evidence. How could you justify your confidence in a 10 if you don't have the, like if you had the evidence, you've done the research and you're like, you know, look, I know this domain of thought. I've researched this. I'm like, okay, cool. This guy's caliber. But you don't, you value evidence and reason and logic, but you don't have it. And that seems to me that the confidence in the 10 is artificially inflated. It should be anything except the 10. Like, even if you said 9.5. Yeah. Well, I would say that, you know, maybe saying 10 is not the right move, but I would say it's definitely a high nine. Um, the only thing I, is, the only thing I don't have is solid evidence, which is, I'm sure it's e really easy to find some solid evidence. Credible sources, from credible sources. I've never done this before and all the time I've done this, but I am so hesitant when this is over, yeah. after we put down the cameras, to drop my phone and actually look at the evidence with you. Sounds good. How confident on a one to 10 are you that you're on the correct line? Um, fairly confident, but I'm, I'm never a 10 in anything unless we're talking about two plus two equals four, the sun rises in the east. Actually, that's, uh, recently that's become somewhat of a controversy, two plus two equals four. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, if you really want to deconstruct it that much. Um, no, but I, I would probably be um, above a five, but, okay. but around a seven. I mean, it's, it's, it's a tricky question because I, I, uh, let's say if I, I've never rode along with um, a police officer. Let's say I ride along with three police officers. I picked three random ones. In Portland? Um, sure, in Portland. We, we ride along all night. And they're like making racial comments. Like um, maybe they're not doing something racist. They're treating everybody the same. But they have some sort of bias. Maybe they're, they're making racial comments. Then, you know, then you'd be, your personal experience would lead you to go to slightly disagree or neutral. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, personal experience matters. Perspective, it does matter. Um, I think data takes over as the most 
important thing when you're when you're making decisions, especially on an issue um, as charged as that one. So you're um, willing to move to the slightly disagree. Sure, I'd be willing to move in. I'd be willing to move in any direction if I'm presented with more evidence. Cause, like him. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm not a ten, though. I'm. I'm. I, I would say I'm more malleable because I, I make a conscious decision not to be a ten unless I, I truly know, which is, I think, very few things in life. Okay, I don't mean to pick on you. I don't mean to. I'm just caught up in the ten thing. Are you gonna give me a donut after? I'm not gonna give you a donut. I'm not a cop, but I, I'm just caught up in the ten thing. So, if you're ten, that means, you, or you, it, it seems to me, if you're ten. That means you'd be unwilling to move, but yet you tell me you're willing to move. Like I just don't get the ten, or am I just am, am I just picking on you too much? No, um, I'm willing to move if the data says that you know that's not true. But I, again, if I had money, I would say that the data would strongly support it. Okay, here's the question. But if you're, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. You said if you had money, you'd be willing to bet. If you're truly a ten. Mm -hmm. Not only would you be willing to bet, you'd be willing to bet with extreme odds. Yeah. I would. Okay, are you willing to bet with extreme odds? Yeah. You want to, let's see how much money I have on me. <laughs> you want to have an actual bet? No, I don't want to have an actual Okay, bet. so then you're not a 10. No, but I'm, I'm really confident. I just, I don't want to bet. Okay, so what are you? What number are you? Still a 10. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. All right. Well, good. We're finished. Thanks, everybody. That's good. Are we done? Yep. That's it. That's it. That's it. What do you think? It was. What do you think? It was not what I expected. <laughs> but I thought we have a class. I'm. I skipped class for this. But oh, yeah. oh, I don't mean to this keep. This is it. our project. We just went and printed our. Project. Oh, what is your project? It's, it's zines. This is my zine. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Can we? Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. Can you want to see? Yeah. This we is, can post it out too. It's a small magazine. Yeah. Zine. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's about Portland homeless situation. And you want to help the homeless people? No, I help the homeless. I good for you. I volunteer as a first responder. Mm, yes and no. Good for you. Um, I volunteer in shelters. What do you do there? Uh, whatever they need me to do. Check Good. in. Let's let's do this. You know you're you know what this is called? It's called a weenus. Weenus. We'll, we'll bump weenuses. Weenus. That's a nice. That's an interesting name. It's true. <laughs> Look and Google it. It's a medical I mean, term. Do you? It's a. It actually is a. Yeah. You know about weenuses? I do. You want to bump my weenus? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You want to bump weenuses? Okay. <laughs> do you bring him with you to help at the homeless shelter? Uh no, but I bring some of those guys. Who, all those guys sitting down over there? The guy with the backpack? Do you think he wants to play this game? Probably not. Probably. Is he too introverted? No, he probably has a class. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, thanks. Did you guys get something out of that? Was it fun? Of yeah. course, yeah. Did it help you calibrate your belief? Yeah. Seems like you calibrated your belief better. Did it help you calibrate your belief? Uh, no, because I'm stubborn. Uh. <laughs> Have you done anything like this in, in classes before? Here at um, Portland State, fine institution. Only in yours, I'm, I'm afraid uh, to say. <laughs> I used to teach at this fine institution. What, uh, what did you teach? I taught philosophy. philosophy. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, good. Well, thanks, everybody. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Thank you very Where's much. Get Probably YouTube. Do you have a channel? That can... Yeah. Uh, Bogosian. Peter Bogosian. B-O-G-H-O-S-S-I-A-N. B O G mm -hmm. should be the first one that pops up. B O G. Oh, go back. No, no, go back, go back, go back. Oh. Yeah. Sounds good, Peter. Thank right. You. Yeah, yeah. You, you, did, you did a really pleasure. good job. You did a good job. Yeah. Seriously, you did a good job. I leave you with one thing. What? Think about 10. 10 is hardcore, dude. That's like faith. Yeah. yeah ten, ten, like faith. 10 is. If you had said nine, that would have ended like 10 minutes ago really? and we would have moved on. Well, I would have tried to get you. I wanted to get everybody to move, but at some point, or at least if not move, to, to make, sh to be what, very confident that the line think? that they're on is correct. I held that mic and I asked. Go ahead. Here. You want to, you want to do that? You want to do it with me? Do you have a PhD? Uh, I have a doctorate uh, from this fine institution of all places. Dr. Dr. Peter. You can call me, you can call me, and then you got to put it on me then. You can call me Peter. Okay, Mr. Peter. Yeah. Let's play this game. Okay. It's really simple. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, this is cheating. Okay. It's not cheating. Okay. okay. I'll give you five seconds. Okay. That's the question. Okay, let me think. 
One. Did it work? Did he think? I, I know where I'm gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. Strongly disagree. Why do you think that, Peter? Uh, here, hold this right, up a little bit. Right. No, no, you good? Am I not cheating, right? Yeah, please do not. No, no. cheating. Um. I don't think that I've looked into this question some, and I don't think <coughs> that the that the evidence supports it. It depends on what you mean by it, but I would certainly be willing to go to disagree. And I have the statistics and data that show that there are some instances of racism, but it's nowhere near as egregious as it's shown. So I, the, the reason that I'm on most instead of disagree, um, I mean, I strongly disagree is because you said, because the words, that's correct. Yeah. If we change that question to, uh, to some, to um, let's say many, decently, decent amount of cops. That's too vague. If you want to say some, if you change that to some, I'll move to, I'll, I'll, I'll move to, uh, I'll move. Specific percentage? Yeah. Yeah. If you say, if you yeah, give you 25%. Yeah. I would, it depends what you mean by racist. Uh, I would probably stay here. If you, if you, anything over 25%, uh, if, if you said, you know, 10% of the cops in the United States are racist, I'd, 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 I'd move, but, 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 but you haven't, but you haven't said that. I've just made the number up. So let's say 9.9% of the cops in the United States are racist. Where would you go? 9.9% uh, .9 of the police in the U.S. are racist. You, you, what do you mean by racist? Do you mean like hunt down black? Like, what do you mean by racist? Like, no, I don't mean hunt down black men. I mean like... Um, have, have, have some kind of animus or enmity, like don't like black people. Or like some sort of an uh, bias against black men. No, I think it's much smaller than that. But 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 the data shows that black men incarcerated get roughed up more by the police than white men, even by black police officers. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting, unusual. So it's so I hear the word system all the time, but that would be an example of some kind of a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. So if you tell me that the number is five, I'll, I'll, I'll move <clears throat> to where I'll move to disagree. Why not slightly? Um, I would need more evidence for that. See, now you're learning. <laughs> <laughs> he's already, yeah. he's already figured out how to do this. You guys need a host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I would need, I would need, I would need more evidence, and I would need to disambiguate or really understand what you meant by racist. Sounds good. Well, I have a class to catch. All right, thank, thank you. you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. you. How did that good? You, you did well. You're natural. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. No, you can do that anytime you want. You can do that with anything. It works with liter uh, literally, you can put literally anything you want on there. It will work. Yeah. Do you like Chipotle? I love Chipotle. It's one of my favorite restaurants yeah, in the world. Me too. Yeah. I guess I'm glad we're on the same page. Good. Let's rub our weenuses together. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Good. So that that's what we do. That's great. Yeah. It's kind of fun. <laughs>